All right, what's up everyone? Thank you so much for joining me back here in the kitchen for yet another recipe video. My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and I am so excited to share this delicious, super healthy and easy recipe with you today. Cookie. So I've been making this recipe a lot lately because it has been so gray and so dreary and cold outside and this recipe is so full of delicious warming flavors, it's been just perfect. But not only that, it is super quick, super easy, very nutritious, which will go over all the nutrients at the end including the micros and the macros, and it's also really easy to meal prep with. So let's get started, I'll show you guys everything that's going in here. So just before we go on, if you guys do like this video and you like this channel, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you guys can see more videos and more recipes from me. But here's everything that's going in there. So what we have here is three cups of cooked chickpeas. We have a cup of frozen green peas. We've got one red bell pepper that I still have to chop. We've got a cup of frozen corn, a cup of grated carrots, and then a half of a red onion. We're also gonna be adding this big can of crushed tomatoes. These are super convenient to have on hand. You can add them to so many different recipes and they add so much flavor and a lot of nutrition. And then for spice, we're gonna be using this one right here. It's called Raz El Hanout. So today I actually learned about this and Raz El Hanout is a African spice that is used in African cuisine very similarly to how garam masala is used in Indian cooking. And it does kind of resemble a curry a little bit, but it definitely has a slightly different flavor. It's so nice, and like I mentioned, it's really warming. It has things like ginger powder in there, coriander, cardamom, cumin, nutmeg. So those are all like really nice warming flavors, perfect for this cold weather. So I actually found this spice at Waitrose in the UK, and um, I ran out recently, and I actually had a follower send me a couple of them. So shout out to you, thank you so much for sending me this, I love this spice. But if you guys can't find this spice near you, a regular curry powder will definitely do, and if you don't like curry or these types of flavors, you could even add like a chili spice, and it would basically make it like a chili. So really versatile, super easy guys. So while I do have most of these veggies prepared, I still have to chop up the onion and the red pepper. So I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, so now that I have everything all chopped up, I'm going to throw all the vegetables into this frying pan here, which is preheated, and I'm definitely crying from those onions. Cooking makes me happy, not sad guys, don't worry. So you could add the vegetables at different times depending on how long they need to be cooked, but I find since all these like don't need all that much time to cook, you can just basically throw them all in at the same time and saute them together. So that's what we're going to do now. So as soon as I get everything into the pan, that's when I like to add some spice to it. I find if you cook the spice a little bit with the veggies, the flavors all kind of go together a little bit better. It makes it a little bit tastier. So I've got everything in there except for the can of crushed tomatoes, which I'm gonna put in in a couple minutes once that's all cooked, because as I mentioned, I like to saute the spices so that it brings the flavors out. And then I've also left out the frozen green peas because I like to throw these in right at the end because I like them to keep their bright green color and that kind of crisp texture that they have. All right, so once everything starts to cook and the onions start to get a bit translucent, it takes about 10 minutes or so, you're ready to add the canned tomatoes. But while that's sautéing, let's talk about chickpeas. Probably my favorite thing to come out of the Middle East since dates. <laughs> chickpeas are freaking amazing. If you didn't know that already, you probably did if you're watching this channel. But So I love cooking with chickpeas because they're really neutral in flavor. So they take on flavors really well. You can pair them with just about anything. They're also really cheap. They're high in fiber. They're high in protein. They contain all nine essential amino acids. They're high in folate. They're high in iron, zinc. Man, it is just such a good superfood and not to mention you can make hummus out of it. But that's not what we're making today. So let's check on this and see how it's doing. All right, so it's simmering away here and it looks really good, but I'm gonna give it a taste and see how it is. So you guys will have to excuse me for the awkward angles. I don't have the best kitchen to film in, but I do the best that I can with what I have. So let's try this out. 
Mmm. It's good. But, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. So I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this when you're cooking with a lot of tomatoes in a dish, and especially with canned tomatoes I notice, but sometimes it comes on like a bit acidic. Especially if you're trying to cook with a bunch of warming flavors like we have there, the acidity just kind of like overpowers everything, at least for me. But I found a little technique to combat that and I'm going to show you guys. So you can toss in just a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of baking soda and mix it around and it totally neutralizes that acidity. We know that baking soda is a strong base, so it only makes sense. And it's kind of cool because it like bubbles and everything when you're doing it, I'll show you guys. So you can see the reaction it's causing, it's kind of bubbling up. So just get that all mixed around as quickly as you can. So hot, so good, perfect now. So it's time to add the peas. All right, so once those peas are thawed, you're pretty much ready to go. This is ready and it smells and looks amazing. And I see that we have made a ton of food here. This is something like 1400 calories over 70 grams of protein, and we don't need to be eating all that in one meal. So this can definitely be divided up, and I'm gonna divide this up into three when we talk about the nutrient analysis. So this is gonna make three meals, and I'm gonna add a cup of rice, some greens, and a quarter of an avocado. So let's do that now. So we have one of these Instant Pots, and this is what I made the rice in, but man, like, I can't figure out how to use this thing. Like, it seems to count down, and then it beeps, and then it starts to count back up, and there's like steam comes out of like this piece back here, almost burned me. Ah! You did cook the rice nicely. So there we have it. Look at that. That is a nice, tasty looking little meal prep, and it really didn't take that long. I'm not gonna fill up any more containers because I don't have them. But I wanted to show you guys how you could meal prep with this meal. And if you guys are interested in me doing more like meal prep videos, let me know and I can definitely get some more Tupperware and do those videos because I wanna help you guys out the best that I can. But yeah, I think we did pretty good here today. And I guess I better give it the taste test to make sure it does taste good. All right, let's try it out. Get some of the rice in there as well. Man, so, so good. Man, if you pop this open at work, heat it up a little bit, it will make your work day so much better. <laughs> so I think that's it for this video. I definitely will go over all the nutrients of this prepped meal at the end so you guys can see exactly what's in this meal if you do decide to prep it on your own. And I really appreciate you guys watching this. This is all you're gonna see from my face for this video. I will go over the nutrients on the computer so you'll be hearing my voice more, but I just wanna say goodbye to you guys face to face. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching this. Take care. Much love from me. Check out the nutrients of this delicious meal now. Oh, I forgot to tell you this before I go. So uh, you guys might have noticed the shirt I'm wearing. We got some new graphics on the merch in the shop. So if you guys want to get some Simna Nutrition merch, there'll be a link in the description down below. Definitely check it out. We have some awesome sales on right now for Christmas and the holiday seasons. This is another favorite of mine that we just came out with. Oh my gosh. Weights and Medjool Dates, this is another pretty good one. We have a private Facebook group uh, for everyone that's bought the recipe ebook and uh, you guys came up with these sayings, so I definitely appreciate the input and here they are materialized, it's pretty cool to see. Anyways, let's go over the nutrients of this meal now. All right, so you can see I have everything input into chronometer here and I have the recipe input separately and we've got a third of that being 477 calories, a cup of brown rice, a quarter of an avocado and two cups of mixed greens. So all of that makes up 800 calories, and you can see it's super nutritious. We've already hit a lot of our RDIs. So we've got 150 grams of carbs, over 30 grams of fiber, 13 grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein with all nine of the essential amino acids well represented there. And then you can see it's chock full of vitamins and just as full of minerals as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. And here are some other videos I'd love for you to check out if you haven't seen them yet. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more from me. And if you do make this, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. I'm at Simnet Nutrition on there as well. I'd love to see your guys' creations. So have a great day. Much love from me. See you guys.